Hello and welcome to another Arkies video and to a new time trial on Gran Turismo 7. We are at Grand Valley Highway, the shortest of the two layouts, and uh, we are in the Wicked Productions, this uh, custom old school uh, car. It's a road car, but it's a rather nice handling road car. And uh, we had this track in the Porsche 911 as a race A a while ago, so the track itself feels familiar and the car feels nice to drive. So now it's all up to me to try to find some speed. This is my first impressions. I'm not there yet, it's a work in progress, but come along as I give it my first one hour attempt. So let's get straight to it. So this is Thursday morning, it's nine o'clock. The new time trial has just opened. I am jumping in, I'm collecting my prize from the previous time trial and let's enter this bad boy. No one has set a time yet and uh, this is my first run on this one. First thing I noticed was the huge gap between 4th and 5th gear. You really have to rev out 4th gear to the maximum um, when you come down the straight. I'm braking too early for turn 1, so I'm really slow around this first corner. But we are staying on board on this first lap because this pretty much shows a lot of the potential mistakes. You have to lift off here. I'm braking, there's no need for braking, just lift off. You have to brake here and really make sure that, that you don't do what I just did, run wide coming down the hill because you'll get a track limit penalty, obviously. Don't hit that wall, you have to be careful, keep the car in check. And this corner, I'm also way too slow. You have to sort of square it off a little bit more than that. And we are coming towards this right-hander. I know I have to brake early for, the, for this one. I remember that from race A in the Porsche. Uh, I'm running in too wide, so that makes the next corner too narrow. And it all compromises the final run down the straight. You also have to be careful as there is a small crest just before you enter the tunnel, so it's easy to understeer off or oversteer on the power. And we're coming down the straight. I'm upshifting too early. You have to get just above 200 kilometers an hour, and we get across the line in a 121.4. But we just kept going, and we took another second of the time, and the lap afterwards, another second, and yet another second of the lap. So that was the first big chunks of time followed by an awful lap and finally I ended up getting a penalty hitting the wall and uh, yeah it's time to just park it and load a ghost so we go again now we've got the best available ghost up this was only a slight improvement and uh, we get a penalty once again that is definitely not the last penalty I'm going to get there so we are jumping ahead a bit once again Things are starting to come together a bit. I'm braking at the 300 board, coming into turn one, trying to keep the car narrow, staying in third gear. This wasn't the best run out of this corner, but we keep it going. And don't need to brake. I'm lifting at the 100 board to make sure the car turns in. I have to brake once the car is pointing straight so I can get the turn to the other side, also staying a bit on the brake so I make sure I don't get the penalty down to third gear and lift off and let the car turn in. I could have just stayed in third gear. This is a tight corner. I used a bit of second up to third again to get the exit. Here I brake as soon as you can see the, the other layout turning off to the left because you want to stay at the right side of the track so you can get a good run into the left-hander and finally try to get a good run into the tunnel. Once again, you can see the car is understeering quite a bit for me coming around that corner because of the way the track uh, goes over that slight hill. We are coming towards the finish line, up shifting to fifth, right after hitting 200 kilometers an hour, and we are across the line in a 117.3. It's beginning to get a bit more tricky, but we actually managed to get a slight improvement three laps in a row. Only small improvements, but we had a good run there. And then I got the usual penalty at the usual spot. And uh, yeah, 
now I am just determined to at least get into the 16s. So we are staying on board on this lap. We are going around the corner, get on the power as early as possible and uh, lifting off at the 100 board. Make sure the car doesn't run away from me, staying a bit on the brakes. Just be patient. As soon as you can see you've got a clear shot out of that corner, then get on the power. Break early for this one. This is basically almost like a long braking zone into this left-hander. This wasn't the best, but I'm still working on getting sort of the idea coming around these corners. I'm actually gaining a bit on the ghost in these corners, but let's get around the final right-hander into the tunnel and see if we can get a good run, a bit of wheel spin there but we get across the line and we are so close to getting into the 116s. So we just got a bit stuck now and of course we got the penalty and I've almost used that hour I usually give myself. And now we are 117 kilometers in. This is my final run. Braking at the 300 board, staying in third gear, keeping the car tight to the corner. Make sure to get on the power as early as that is possible, lifting at the 100 board, but applying some power to make sure the car maintains the speed, braking in a straight line and just be patient around this corner, brake early for this one, and you should probably stay in third gear. I noticed Mr. MCA, he was staying in third gear. I had a bit of a lurk on his live stream, time trying this, and he will probably have a guide out as well and uh, braking just as the other layout turns off to the left and make sure the car doesn't run too deep like the ghost actually does. You can see that's where I was gaining time on this particular ghost. And let's get through the tunnel, get on the power, make sure we don't want to steer off in, into the wall. And I could see that I had my 116 time, so I honked my horn coming down the straight because I knew that my hour was up and I had to leave it for now. So this was my best attempt so far. I am definitely not done yet. I'm going back to this. I could see the times coming down rapidly. Not even sure this will stay gold. We'll see. I have to get back to this. But I hope you had some sort of entertainment out of watching this video. Maybe some useful info as well. I will go and check out the proper lab guides from Mr. MCA, Key25, Digit Gaming and many more who does brilliant lab guides when these time trial challenges are out. This is a fun one, I hope you will enjoy it and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.